Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Let's jump into what is going on with United. We have an injury scare on Safian Amrabat. And what's the update on Jaden Sancho? Let's uh, let's see what's going on, okay? And also, we'll see if there's any... Uh, let's start with the uh, Amrabat situation. So, Morocco head coach Walid Ragragui insists Safian Amrabat withdrawal from the squad was precautionary after the Manchester United midfielder felt something. So Amrabat has been uh, was named in the, in the Morocco uh, national team squad. And talking about Morocco, uh, our thoughts and prayers uh, go out to all uh, the, uh, the 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 injuries and the the people who lost their lives uh, due to the earthquake that they suffered. I believe on Friday. Uh, evening so uh, let's keep them in our prayers and um, um, that way uh, hopefully everything uh, gets sorted out the damage is uh, tremendous um, all right let's get back to the uh, news so yeah so Amrabat was uh, selected to join the Morocco squad so and now he's on his way back or he's already back to Carrington um, and basically, in, uh, in a statement uh, published on United's website, the club confirmed that Amrabat would return to Carrington for assessment and treatment. So, again, guys, this is... Uh, it's <laughs> what's up with us getting players that are injured? You know, we, we got um, uh, Hoyland. He came in and then he was injured. And then now Amrabat, there were some rumors right after he signed, you know, there were some rumors that he's he was injured. But again, we, we heard something that he was fit and he's going to go and uh, go back and join the Morocco uh, national team. But now it looks like that injury is, uh, you know, it's more, it's worse than anticipated. But uh, I'm glad that the national team coach uh, for Morocco, you know, agreed to send him back for treatment because uh, he said yeah he just started his adventure his new adventure at uh, manchester united so you know it makes sense not to risk it to have him play with an injury just send him back that way he can get treatment and hopefully that uh, we will have him available for our trip to uh brighton because guys we we de we're depleted with injuries and we definitely would need uh, a player like uh, Amrabat on that game because at, th at this point I'm seeing that we are sitting actually 11th, right? We're sitting 11th uh, in the in the you know table, which is not ideal. It is terrible, uh, I must say. But um, uh, hopefully that we can get our stuff sorted out and you know get back to winning ways, right? And um, on other news, I'm seeing that um, this whole situation with Jadon Sancho. I see a lot of ex-players uh, chiming in. Uh, Ryan Giggs was saying that, look, Jadon Sancho needs to keep his head down, you know, apologize and work hard. That way he can win uh, his place back. He can win his way back to Ten Hag. Uh, same thing with um, uh, Rio Ferdinand. Rio was saying that um, the reason that he thinks that uh, Ten Hag kind of made that statement, uh, you know, saying, oh, he was not performing to standards, um, you know, uh, after that game with Arsenal. He's, he Basically, he was trying to get a rise out of him, right? Because, look, uh, we saw what happened when he he uh, benched um, Rashford last season, right? Rashford came back in, boom, scored goal. So he, he that was his last kind of last uh, try to bring something out of Sancho because he has... Ten Hag and his team, they've really worked hard with uh, Jadon Sancho, right? Basically, last season, we heard that he's, you know, going through some mental issues and whatever have you. And they allowed him to go and train uh, away from the team that were to get his head straight and fitness straight and everything. So they, they went to bat for him. And basically, Ten Hag and his team allowed him to do that, even though they really needed him during that period, right? Because what happened is, uh, when uh, the World Cup happened, all the players that went to World Cup, uh, the plan for Man United was, when they come back, not to really depend on those guys. Because they'll be tired, they've been playing a lot of football, so it was to depend on players that uh, they were staying behind. Like the 
uh, Anthony, uh, uh, no, like, like the Anthony Martial, Jaden Sancho. Just the fact that, you know, and Jaden Sancho is one of the really key players that he would have needed in that attack in all those games that came, like the games that they played right after that World Cup ended when we resumed uh, the Premier League. But Ten Hag, you say, you know what? Oh, it's okay, Jaden Sancho, you can go, uh, get yourself sorted out. We'll try to manage, right? So it shows how uh, Ten Hag was trying to work uh, with him. And for Jaden Sancho now to flip side, come and do, you know, kind of go against uh, Ten Hag what, statement like that in public on social media saying that he's being used as a scapegoat. Come on, you're not being used as a scapegoat, right? Ten Hag has done each and everything to get you uh, to where you need to be, right? He tried to work on him like in this preseason to move him like, okay, as a false nine to try to different things to see if he can get something out of him. And then Sancho repays him by doing that social media posting, which is, you know, disrespectful. And I'm sure Ten Hag, uh, one thing he has done ever since he came to the team is uh, even uh, Bruno had said is to to instill that uh, sense of authority and uh, no one is treated, uh, you know, like uh, with a biasness, right? The way he treated Ronaldo, it's the same thing the way he treated Rashford when he was banging goals like crazy for us. He treats everybody the same and he demands certain standards, right? And this is something that's not new. All the players know. And one thing uh, um, Bruno had said, like the team needed at that time and needed a coach like him to, you know, to know, no, you like, no, to be like one of those, like, look, it's my way or the highway. So I don't know what is going to happen with Jadon Sancho now because uh, he, they cannot just bring him back to the team without him apologizing, right? Because it, then he will, he will show a bad precedent, you know? Yeah, he, he has to be punished in a way that, you know, the whole team sees like, look, uh, this will not be tolerated. Uh, the manager says something, you do not go on social media and just blast him, go against him. So I think um, Ten Hag, when they had this, when they're going to have that sit down talk, I don't know. Uh, I see Sancho playing with the kids. I don't see him coming back to the team anytime soon unless, you know, I don't know what he can say to the manager and to apologize to the team. First of all, he needs to take down that post, which is still on social media. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, the whole thing is, is, is just a mess. Man United is a mess. Guys, this is Man United Central. I'm super excited that you're back here to get your updates when it comes to Man United. I'm your boy, Luther. Do me a favor, smash the like, subscribe, notification bell, and Hang on, there's a video up here YouTube believes you will enjoy. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next one. Peace.